The king in the north! The king in the north! The king in the north! Greetings everyone! Allow myself to introduce myself. My name's Jay Hall and welcome to the Bears Den number 6. Finally news has slowed down a bit and we're coming into a bit of a lull with the holidays rolling around. It was a normal week for me, finally, and this next week will be a normal one as well. Then we're back into the thick of things with my Christmas vacation. So we'll see where that goes with all this stuff going on. First up, news! PUBG is getting a little uh, mad about other games copying their idea for a Battle Royale game. While it's not wholly original, just because you came up with a game mode doesn't mean others can't use that game mode and do their own spin on it. Mostly Fortnite is the biggest issue right now, but there are going to be other copycats coming. They want some form of IP protection, but really just quit whining about other people making your game but better. I, I completely prefer Fortnite over PUBG any day of the week. That's just my personal opinion though. Call of Duty World War II was the best selling game in November and for the entirety of 2017. Boots on the ground! I don't have much to say about this, but I mean, it's the same thing every year, just a, a new cone of paint. It's really not my jam, it's, I don't know. You, you just have to see someone first and you win. Overwatch has added in a in-game alert if someone has reported you or if you're being reported for specific reasons. Hopefully this helps crack down on the t toxicity because it is a rampant issue in the game. I love the game itself, but that detracts from it so much. Bungie has acknowledged they effed up with the Destiny 2 expansion. Basically, if you haven't heard, what they did is they took out portions of the base game and locked it behind DLC. So if you purchased the base game, you wouldn't be able to play these things that previously you used to be able to until you bought their expansion pass for whatever it is, $20 or $35, I can't remember how much it costs. They realized that this was a mistake, but it is a troubling um, thing coming up in games nowadays where a lot of people are trying to, or a lot of companies, excuse me, are pushing this these things out that are not consumer friendly and they're only backtracking after people have had enough outrage that they have to do it or face a PR disaster. Eidos Montreal, the guys behind the Deus Ex series, are saying they're going to be committing more to multiplayer games. You can thank microtransactions for this shift in the gaming industry because they're not making as much money on single player games or season passes with those single player games. They're making that money off the whales out there spending all this cash on the loot boxes and pay to win. Adventure Time, the cartoon series, is getting a video game in the beginning parts of 2018. This feels like a great way to send off the series since it will be ending very soon here. It's a great show if you want to check it out ever. Pokemon Crystal is coming to 3DS following in the footsteps of Gold and Silver. If you have not played any of these games yet, go out there and play them right now. They are the best Pokemon games, bar none. Rocket League is getting a physical release for the Nintendo Switch with all the extra added content added in. It is going to cost you 40 bucks though, which is $10 more than the other versions for other systems. They claim this is because of the cost of a cartridge. But does the cartridge really cost that much? $10 more than a disc? No, I don't think so. That's a bunch of bull. Wasteland 2 is coming to Switch. Now, it is an older game, but it is a lot like the original Fallouts back in the day, Fallouts 1 and 2. I still just really like it because they're offering such a breadth of titles coming to the Nintendo Switch, so everyone has something to play. Moving on to movies. The Last Jedi had the second biggest opening of any film, only behind The Force Awakens. It made 220 million domestically and 450 million worldwide. You can watch my review on this. You know, I, I thought it was kind of meh, but others have thought it was the best Star Wars ever. I, you can be the judge for yourself because I'm sure everyone's already seen it by now. Speaking of Disney, they've purchased 20th Century Fox, or more so mostly their film and television. What does this mean? Fantastic Four, X-Men, Deadpool, they're all going to be in the MCU, I'm sure. The only one they're missing now from their main stable of heroes is Spider-Man. No, oh, wait, wait, hang on. Before you say that he's already in it, he is just on loan from Sony. They still own the rights to him, which I'm sure Disney will get back eventually if they pay enough money for him. The most interesting thing here, though, is that they now have a 60% stake in Hulu, and with their own streaming service launching soon, I don't know how this is really going to work, if they're going to use Hulu as a platform for it, or if they're going to have them as competing services. I, I don't think you would want that, but who knows what Disney's going to do. And now we're on television. The Punisher has been renewed for a second season. No details as to when it's coming out or anything at all, really, just a tease for it. But it is coming. I am still loving the series a lot. I am almost finished it with it, but I was pleasantly surprised. Mr. Robot is also getting a season four. The season three just recently ended. 
and it is surprisingly good. It's not just about a little hacker dude sit, kind of sitting on his computer hacking away. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on, uh, political commentary a little bit, you know, on corporations and all that jazz, but it's still an excellent show. I would recommend checking it out. Some random stuff that happened around the world. The biggest story, FCC repealed net neutrality. I'm sure we saw this coming because we all knew it was going to happen anyway. At least it still has to go through the courts and hopefully, hopefully they make the right decision. Build-A-Bear has Mario themed options now. I'm just waiting for the uh, person to make, you know, an amalgamation of everything. You know, maybe a Yoshi and a Peach with a Bowser voice line inserted into them. I think those will be kind of funny. Also, you can check out a lot of games that have a holiday updates if you haven't played them for a while. A few of these that I know of are um, Overwatch, Fortnite, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Rocket League, League of Legends, Paragon, and Destiny 2. I'm sure there are others out there as well that I missed, but these are the ones off the top of my head that I knew had them and I knew about them. As for releases, we are a little slim this week as is expected around Christmas. There's a lot of indie titles coming out that you can check out for PS4 and Nintendo Switch, not so much Xbox or PC, but... For bigger ones, we have Dunkirk coming out on Blu-ray on Tuesday, December 19th, and episode 3 of Life is Strange Before the Storm. As for me this week, this will be usual as always with mostly Overwatch and Fortnite. Surprisingly, I loved it when I played it. I got up to a second place finish the first round of playing it. Hopefully we can get a victory royale or winner winner chicken dinner, whatever people call it nowadays. But we'll be doing those. I want to start another Telltale series because we finished the Telltale Batman. Until the next episode comes out, I'm sure we'll play that when it does, episode 4 and 5. But I'm not sure which one I want to do. So you can let me know which ones you think would be great. I mean, there's Guardians of the Galaxy, there's uh, Walking Dead, and what, what else, what's another big one? They have a Game of Thrones one too, I think. For videos, I don't know when my Star Wars Battlefront 2 review will be coming out. I, I did it, I'm not happy with how it turned out, and I don't want to put out something that I dislike. Like, I, I was not a fan of how it turned out. I'm, I mean, I know I'm the, my biggest critic here, but still, I, I don't want to do it until I'm happy with the final product. I will be doing some more Super Mario Odyssey videos, because I had a lot of fun with that, and you know, having, playing around with Cappy and, oh man, his possession, and ugh, God. Cappy man, you're creepy dude. The next week after that will be really weird because I'll be out of town. I'll be in Nashville for Christmas and I'm not sure how my streaming schedule or video schedule will work out with that so far. Now for some shit I got this week. Not a whole bunch because Christmas is rolling around like I said, gotta focus on Christmas presents, but I did pick up season 7 of Game of Thrones with an exclusive ooh, ah, cover. As you can see it's playing right there behind me. Loved the season. Uh, very fast paced, action oriented, but we're gonna have to wait till 2018, as I've said before, till season eight, sadly. With that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching next Monday, same time. I'll catch you on the flip side.